You know we're recording, right? Oh, right now? Yeah. <laughs> Get my bald spot! <laughs> so to set timing... This side first. <laughs> <laughs> so to set timing... <laughs> There's a little error right here. It's supposed to be here and then 25 degrees down, like that. And this one is supposed to be straight right? up. Yeah, 25 straight degrees right back. there. And then this side, these two are supposed to be facing each other. Facing each other. And then you can set timing. Reset this little pink one. You put it right on this notch, right there. It's on the cam. Put the little pink guide right there. Line those up. Find the one on this one. It should line up right there. Can you see it? Yeah. And, uh, it should be down there. Right there. And then you gotta put these over here. Not even on it. Oh wait, I got. We gotta go across this thing first. Yep. Okay. Oh, we need an extra tooth here. Yeah, let me set it on right there. Take this one out. Sorry, we're just really not prepared. Yeah. Oh, God. Here, I'm going to put it already on the ground. Right there. Yeah. Can we take this one yeah, out, Yeah, take that one out, too. Just to oh, shit. Here. Don't drop it. So this is the piece that uh, Jose broke. <laughs> I'm getting redemption right now. Yeah, so hopefully it doesn't break it again. Ah, uh, uh, God. <laughs> okay, still dropped. <laughs> still dropped. <laughs> okay. Did you compare this one with, with the old one? Yeah, it's yeah. the same one. It's the same one. Okay. Okay, so now. Oh. Okay. Um, try and get some slack out of this one. Get this one on there. And this one, you line up with that one. There. And it's still in the right spot. Yep, 25 degrees off the center. Now we can put these guides on. There. Look at those man hands. Yes, ladies, these are man hands. <laughs> Who's girl's hand? Oh, no, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> The marking, uh, right there. No the marking. So this marking right here, yeah. the little black sharpie line, is the tooth, the timing mark on the crank itself, because we put the harmonic oh, balancer. This right here. So this little blue one has to line up with that one, so then that way these stay all in time right here. And this one can go on to right there. We just need one more tooth, which should be right on the middle of it. Yeah, so this marking right here should mark that tooth in there, which is where the blue one is on. And just to double check, these are all on their timing mark. You use a special uh, snap-on tool. Oh, yeah, so you just, <laughs> you just use like a little uh, pin to hold it in place when you compress this. And then you just put it where it's supposed to go. Pretty simple. And this will create the tension on the timing chain. I even got audio for this thing. Yeah. You're probably gonna drown out our voices with your music. No, the good. mic should. Oh, it should pick it up. Yeah. Mic check, mic check, mic check, <laughs> mic check. <laughs> okay, so once you these on <laughs> So then you just wanna make sure you double check again, make sure everything's okay. I guess we can do you wanna take this off just to double check the timing mark? I think we can this should be good, right? It's lined up with the blue. I mean with the Sharpie, yeah. Yeah. Cause like it's like it's it Yeah. Okay. So just double check, you know, pink 
on the line, this pink one on that line, then the blue one with that sharpie line, or whatever you use and to mark it. Pull the pin for the grenade. And then you can pull this out. Pull the pin. Pull the pin. Well, you yeah. No, but push this out. Yeah, you gotta like there you go. push it, and then slowly just release it. Bam. And there you go. Okay. Now she's tensioned. Now she's tensioned. Now she's. Okay. All right. You can feel the tension. Woo! Am I, uh, no, I'm making it worse. I know. Which way am I supposed to go? Stupid Woo! David. <laughs> what? Woo! Yeah. Woo! My feet would have been a gutter. <laughs> As you can see, we got a cam plate. So we can put the oil separator that we put in this car. Which we'll show later. Which we'll show later. It's also red. Which we'll show later. All we have to do is uh, spin this crank. Wait, why is it not level? Because he's, I don't know. Because I'm holding it. Oh, you're, you're, holding, starts, it you're holding it up? Yeah. Oh. Oh, because it won't spin. Yeah, okay. but you got to spin this one until these little markings on the arrow, uh, right here and yeah. right here, face each other. And then that will set timing. Then we'll be uh, good to put it on this one. Right we'll be able to sit there on this side. Yeah. And that one. So. Like that? No, that's a cylinder's closing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping, yeah. <laughs> we should just spin it backwards and double check. No. <laughs> <laughs> Redo. That should be two turns, right? So how are you gonna lock it? It's locked. You go. No, they're off. They're they're right on. Not directly. You look straight at it. Well, let's see where this. So we had to turn the crank to get these. This. Uh, Let's see. But to get that mark and that mark to line up. So that way we can time this side. What we have to do is have these two pointing at each other. Once we have these two pointing at each other, same thing as the other side, line up the pinks with the notches on the top, and then the blue one should line up with the timing mark on the crank. Pretty simple. Yeah. Well, we just kind of already put this one on. Really? Or should we leave that loose first so that way you can do the other side? Because you're probably going to need slack. Yeah, but I'm going to put it kind of on it so oh, we can kind of okay. get it. <laughs> Did I just... Yeah, attention. Nice. So. Uh, to push the tensioners, since this one came loose, you got to push this little marking over and then you can push it down. Once you squeeze that in, you can use your super special tool. You use your snap-on tool right here. I hope that it holds. <laughs> I mean, you can probably leave it there for now, right? Uh, uh, it's gonna be hitting the. Better safe than. Yeah. Let me see. Let me. I'll push it down while you while you find it a hole. Okay. So again, pink on this line right here, and then down here we got the pink. On this line right here. And then these two arrows are facing each other. And the blue one is on the Sharpie marking down there. Down there somewhere. So now all we gotta do is just put the guides on. Let, let, let a little slack. There you go. There you go. Now put that sucker in there. This way. Somehow. Somebody once told me. No, slide it on like this. Oh, oh, careful with that side. Maybe it should go. Yeah. I think. 
We should get this out in first. This one first, and then do that one. Oh, you know what? Oh. Take it off. Oh shit! Now what? Got both of them space there, huh? Yeah. Where's the tent? Four. Go. Oh, go. All right, go ahead. Wait, we should take this off and then do it again. I think it's no, fine. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. So once you get the two guides on, so the tensioner on. Tiny by hand, and then we'll torque all the bolts down. Where's the, uh, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Is it yeah. So, you just gotta double check once you have everything on, you know? You don't wanna tighten everything down and then not have it lined up. That should be good. Yep. So now you just, uh, pull this pin. Pull the pin. And, uh, here you go. Tensioner is on. And it's tension. You feel the tension? And just make sure that, uh, you know, it's not gonna walk off. Yeah, make sure that they're inside the guides. Boy, this is kind of slack. It's a lot of slack, isn't it? No, because this is a moving piece. And plus, this is not tightened all the way. No, because. Because it's not. Not like that. Well, this thing's tensioned all the way, so. 